Welcome back. This is uh, Crash Course number 11 for Source 2. This is Sammy Chimonahihi Aliubi. Uh, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Plaonder for helping me set up, uh, pointing me in the right direction of this keyboard that we have. Now you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing as we go through this so that you don't mistake in B's and V's and G's as I'm uh, telling you the shortcuts of what we're doing. Uh, okay, we have here uh, light that we've worked on. Let's uh, add a little bit more. This is going to be a fun one. We've done uh, spotlights, omni lights. Uh, we have an environmental light that's shining down here. Um, but uh, I want to take advantage of this right here. Let's go ahead and really show what the engine can do uh, with uh, some of its uh, sh sunshine. Uh, some god rays, as they're called, are going to be produced in this. Okay, I'm going to come over here. Uh, I'm going to change this to light ortho. I'm going to plop this light ortho right here for right now. Okay, now light ortho is a little different. Notice it makes this giant box. Uh, ortho lights are giant box lights, you know, rectangular, uh, square shapes, so or whatever you want to make. Uh, they're going to be projected all the way through. Now, I don't recommend using these for uh, anything beyond really uh, just trying to create some nice effects. Don't use these as primary light sources. They're, they're, you're much better off using the other lights. But for right now, um, here's how I'm going to work this. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come to this... Uh, sun and I wanted to make this angle uh, the same angle as the sun and I can sit here all day and if I hit R uh, I can uh, try to rotate this around and make it match or I'm gonna go to this and I'm gonna collapse this prefab okay right click uh, selected prefabs we're gonna collapse I'm gonna double uh, I'm gonna press alt enter uh, open this up I'm gonna copy its angle right click here click copy Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, come over here to this ortho light and uh, let's go ahead and open up the properties. Alt enter opens that up. Right click angles. Now it's going to copy the angles and it's going to show me exactly what that sun is pointing at. Okay, so so far so good. Um, <clears throat> now I want to go ahead and uh, there's a lot of extra light and I just want the light to really shine through here and down into here. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Um, Noticed uh, that if I press T and I try to move this ortho light around, that uh, this ortho light, which is projecting light from this face that's right here all the way down, uh, I need to try to smash it up as much as I can here. And if I try to do that using the transform tool like this, it's going to be tough. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to press tab. Okay, now tab, notice it changes the alignment. Okay, now with tab, it's going to point in the direction of this entity or this model. It's going to make it a little bit easier. I can go ahead now and I can align it much more. I'm going to try to bring it as close as I can to this. And once again, we, we could have it further back, but you're going to see why having it closer down is going to be a bit better. I'm going to try to put it in the middle. Okay. So using local and world, I can press tab. I can switch between them. If I went back to uh, world coordinates, uh, up and down would always move it up and down, left and right, forward and back. Or if I press tab, okay, now I can go ahead and use those angles correctly. All right, now this is a really, really, really big light. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to squeeze in only uh, what I need. So press alt enter. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's change the range down. Let's go to about uh, 400. Uh, let's see how that works. Okay, 400. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's okay. But really, what I want to work on right here is uh, this one, height and width. Let's go ahead and change it down to 300. Okay, notice that it changes the size of this. That's still a little bit too big though. Uh, let's uh, change the uh, uh, width to 250, and let's go 120 for the height. Okay. Ah, that's a lot better. Now, notice that this light that's right here, that's showing you what's being projected by that ortho light. So I'm just going to do ahead. I'm going to do my best to line this up. Okay, this is uh, almost in the middle of that hole. I'm going to try to uh, downsize this uh, by, uh, let's see here, where is that? The width, what about 200? Okay, that's good. I, I don't want to make it any bigger of a light than I have to. And uh, Next thing I want to do is if I look here, you're not going to see much of a difference, uh, but we're not done yet. Okay. If we want to get God rays, we've got to add a couple of more features into this. Okay. Here's what we're going to add over here on the left hand side. We need to add two things. We need to add what's called a volume fog controller. Okay. This tells the map, hey, we have some fog in here. And if you double click, there's a ton of options right now that you can uh, mess with, but we're not going to mess with it right now. Look what happens by just adding this in okay now actually we need to actually tighten this up okay by just adding a fog controller uh it, what it's gonna do is it's going to make any light 
that has uh, this particular setting. I'm going to go back into the ortho light and go all the way down. This by default, ortho lights have what's called baked volumetric fogging. Now notice what happens if I turn it off. Okay, if I turn it off, okay, it's going to go away. Right now, though, we're going to go ahead, turn it back on to baked. We want it baked in here. And you can do this for any other light as well. But uh, I'm not done. I, I want to go ahead. I actually want to be a little bit more precise. I want to actually add what's called a fog volume. Okay, this is going to be essential. And I'm going to put it where I want there to be fog. Okay, these god rays are essentially fog. I'm going to move the fog volume here. Uh, it's just like a cube map uh, in terms of how you can kind of manipulate it, uh, except there's no center point. I'm just going to simply extend it. Um, I think the fog uh, is going to go all the way out here. And then let's go ahead and let's bring it up. And uh, like I said, I want to make sure I, I, I keep it to within what the player can see. I don't want to have uh, too big of a fog. Now, I could make a fog volume in the entire map, okay? And that's fine. Some people might do that. They'll create a giant fog volume. Um, but when you have individual fog volumes, you actually have much more control over what uh, is going to be happening with this fog and its strengths. And also, you're not going to be making the engine render an entire fog across the whole map uh, when it doesn't really need to. So I'm going to go ahead. Now we can uh, see that this is starting to look a little bit better. Okay, but one thing is uh, we, we got to adjust the lighting itself. So uh, the light color itself, I'm going to go ahead, press Alt Enter on the environment light. I'm going to copy that. Right click copy this light and the color i'm going to come over here same thing right click and paste and now it's going to go ahead and it's going to match it up and we're, we're almost done but we're not quite there uh, I, I am projecting light here okay if you notice that there's this light that's being projected uh, that's because this ortho light is casting light down so let's go ahead here's a fun little trick we're going to do if i just want this ortho light to cast down fog uh, right now, it's it's casting light, and it's casting light on top of what's being casted on the environmental light, and I, I really don't want it to do that. I just really care for it to just give me fog. So brightness goes down to 0.01. Okay, now what it does is the fog down here it does go away, but check this out. Volumetric fogging, and I've got above it fog contribution strength. Let's jack this up to 30, and now I'm going to get that fog come back but notice that light brightness isn't there making that seem uh, look a little bit unbearable so i've gone ahead and i've essentially created here some god rays using an ortho light copying the environmental light and if i come out here notice i can't see rays shining in but when i come inside Okay, that's where it's going to be. And I don't want to overdo this. It's really easy to overdo this and add it everywhere. Uh, but for right now, uh, let's go ahead and let's spice it up with one additional uh, little uh, feature. And this is going to be really nice. Go ahead, uh, go to particles. Okay, and, and there's a ton of options, but we're going to type in dust mode. Okay, and, and when we type in dust mode, there's a ton of different options. Um, I'm going to try dust mode pre uh, uh, local. Actually, let's go local. So go local. I'm going to pull this up. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see what happens now if you can see a little bit of particles have been floating around uh, giving me a much better feeling about how this particular scene is playing out it gives it kind of a little bit more context and uh, these little particles floating around uh, if I, I can't see them press f8 Okay, this goes into our frame mode, and we can see now how this is going to play out. Uh, if I wanted to, to add more particles, okay, I can. If I want to change it, that's fine. Mess around with it, play with it as you want. F8 goes in and changes that, uh, but this little uh, bit right here does wonders. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And join our Discord below, and if you want to follow along, we do have a GitHub with these files that are updated, so you can go ahead and grab those if there's any confusion. All right, have a great day. We'll see you guys next time.